Here, I want to create a label element with a text of quantity here. And for our HTML4, we want to pass in curly braces and we want to use our back ticks and we want to say quantity dash our item dot underscore ID. And keep in mind, this dollar sign will not display since we're using it inside of back ticks. Now we need to create a select element. The name will be quantity. The ID will be what the HTML for up here is. So we can just copy that, paste it here. And then we want to have a value equal to item dot quantity. And now before we move on to this next portion, what we need to do is create a function within our cart items component. So we'll go back up here before the return statement and we need to create a function called handle change. And inside of this function, we need to pass our event object and our item as parameters. And here is where we're going to call our handle quantity change function. And we need to pass in our item dot underscore ID. And we want to use parse int. We want to use this on our event object dot target dot value. Now we can go back down here to our select element and use our on change event listener and make this equal to a callback function. And what we need to do is pass our event here as a parameter. And we want to call our handle change function and pass in as arguments, our event object and our item. And within this select element, we want to have four options. So we want one, two, three, and four for how many products that you want, and you can add more or less for your application. Tap here for more.